Hi everybody. This video is called General Mobilizations, which sounds like it should be like a name for me in the military. It is a little bit of just general warming up that I've been adding into my own home practice for the last couple of months. Feel free to do this at the start of your practice or for some of the other videos and use it as part of your warm up. I hope you enjoy what is there. You will be challenged in your core, some basic mobilization, but it'll hopefully get you feeling good in your shoulders and wake you up if it is your first movement practice of the day. If you've got a block, grab it. If not, don't worry about it. Start cross-legged. If you can't sit cross-legged, you can take yourself so you get your back against the wall or use the block just behind your hips and use that to help create a wee bit of support for your pelvis. Instead of having your heels in a really tight line, Open this out so it's easier on your hips, moving the feet so the feet are closer to the knees and the shape looks more like a square than a triangle. Position yourself tall and then close your eyes. Make a switch into deep breathing, doing roughly an inhale for a count of five and an exhale for a count of six, making this very simple. When you start breathing like this, it is already a profound act in what might be a really busy day or a really chaotic day. You're recruiting your abdominal muscles, changing the way that your mind works, and creating all of these alchemical interactions inside of your body. So even if we only get the breathing part today, that's still massive. And continuing to breathe like this, Begin to sense where in your body needs to move most. Maybe you give this area more attention as you move throughout the session. Take your left palm, palm faces down, fingers point towards your left hip, and then sit onto that left hand. If that's uncomfortable for your wrist, stick the fingertips onto the ground, but do not move them. Inhale, lift up through the chest, Exhale, lean away from that arm and relax right ear towards right shoulder, getting a stretch into the left side of the neck. Tendency is to let the head fall forwards here. Have the head up and feel for moving the back of your skull backwards. So you begin to stretch into the front of the neck. During neck release poses, the tendency is that your breathing will become a bit degraded. Change that. Inhale, lift up through your back ribs. Exhale, soften right ear towards right shoulder a little bit more. In stage two of this, head is going to stay where it is, but turn the chin down towards your right shoulder. You're beginning to stretch into different parts of the cylinder of muscle around the neck. If doing deep breathing, is becoming tricky, do it through the mouth. Maybe even using a longer sighing exhale to help you shift out the exhale. Tuck the chin straight down, take the left hand out from underneath the left hip and then lift your head up so your neck muscles can relax. Change the cross in your legs. Right hand, turn the right fingers in underneath the right hip so you're anchoring down to the sit bone or you can stick the fingers onto the floor, whichever is easier for your wrist. Inhale, stretch up through the ribs, lift up through the back of the skull. Exhale, relax, left ear towards left shoulder. Not in a big way, draw down through that right shoulder. Inhale to stretch up through your abdomen away from your hips. Exhale, lean back through the back of your skull, left ear is relaxing towards left shoulder. In stage two of this, exhale, turn your chin down towards that left shoulder, lean back through your shoulders, lean back through the back of your skull, and feel for opening up into that right side of the neck, right shoulder. Coming out of this, tuck the chin straight down, 
Take that right hand onto your forehead and lift your head up. For the next part, you can do this in a cross-legged position where you are, or shifting into toes pose, which is when you tuck your toes under and sit back on your heels. If you're newer to that, you can always take the block in there so you're a little bit more elevated. You'll be doing some work in the shoulders just simply to give you some variety in your sitting positions, but also in how the pelvis is speaking to your seated poses. It'll be different kneeling than it is cross-legged. Relax the arms down by your side, wherever you are. Lift up through the back of the skull and be very aware that the head will want to dip forwards in this exercise. Keep the head up. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, bring the shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, drag your shoulders down. Inhale, spread in between the shoulder blades, head is up. Exhale, squeeze the middle part of the shoulders back. Squeeze it a lot, drag shoulders down. Inhale, spread in the back, palms face up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbows towards each other, drag shoulders down. Inhale, relax the arms down. Second round. Hold the breath, bring shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze them. Exhale, slide the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, spread in between the shoulders, head up. Exhale, middle part of shoulders squeeze back, squeeze a lot, drag shoulders down. Inhale, spread in the back, palms up. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades and elbow tips towards each other. Drag the shoulders down. Inhale to relax the arms down. Moving into a tabletop position. If you don't have a block, you can do this in a tabletop position regularly. Otherwise, you'll be elevating your knees by putting your knees onto the block or any other raised, somewhat soft-ish surface that isn't gonna aggravate your knees. Moving into some cat arches. So coming onto all fours, take the block, and bring the knees on there. So we're changing where the hips are speaking to the shoulders, because normally the hips would be lower here. This should help us isolate into the lower back a bit more. Exhale, tuck the elbow down, round into the back, push with the hand. Inhale, tip the pelvis the other way, so arcing the chest forwards will be a little bit less movement here with the way the pelvis is working. Exhale, tuck the elbow down, round into the back. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards, draw shoulder blades back, squeeze hands towards knees. Exhale, tuck tailbone down, pull the abdomen up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone down. Inhale, lengthen chest forwards. Now continue doing these, but focusing on that push, pull in the hand. So when you're exhaling, push into the hand. When you're inhaling, pull with the hand and squeeze them towards the knees to help get into the shoulders a little bit more. One more like that. Now from this place, remove the block, sit so you are near to the middle of your mat. Move the block out of the way. Take the hands behind you. Now you can either have the fingers pointing towards your toes here, or wrist sensitive, point the fingers out to the side. Now starting off, exhale, slide your shoulder blades down your back, lifting the chest up. Inhale, relax between the shoulders, and let them almost like slide up, feel a bit like a slouch. Exhale, work those shoulders down away from the ears, lift chest. Inhale, let the shoulders slide up towards your ears. Exhale, slide the shoulders down. And take a deep breath in this lifted position. Exhale, lift the hips up, driving into your heels. Inhale, relax down, but without doing that collapse in the shoulders, you want to stay lifted. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower down, hips are light as they touch the floor. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now from this place, coming all the way down onto your back, bring the knees so they're directly above the pelvis. Place both hands onto the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, curl your tailbone up like you did in cat. Push your hands against your thighs, push your thighs against your hands. You should feel your abdominal muscles working. Press down through pelvis and back ribs, but resist pushing down through your lower back. So a slightly different way of working into your abdomen. You want to work harder? 
curl the head and shoulders up from the mat. This will make you work a little bit more through your abdomen. Keep going for another five, four, three, two, and one. And relax that. Bring the knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs. This is our first forward bend really of our practice so far. As you squeeze the legs in, just feel out what's going on in the lower back. Press down through the pelvis, you get that extra wee bit of lengthening. Bridge roll ups. Relax the arms down by your sides. Get the feet close enough that when you reach down with your hands, you can touch the heels with your hands. Then bring the arms down by your sides, palms face up. Get a little bit of space so that you can draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Now be moving one breath per movement here. Exhale, curl your tailbone up so you feel that your lower back is still on the ground and then begin to sequentially peel the lower back up off of the ground as you lift the hips up. Inhale, lower down through shoulders, mid back, low back, and then set pelvis down. Exhale, curl, tailbone up, press it into the pelvis, lift the hips all the way up. Inhale, slowly peel down through the legs, the hips. Exhale, press into your feet, lift the hips up. So aiming to sequentially lift up. Inhale, lowering down. One more like that. Exhale, press into the feet, curl, tailbone up, begin to peel up. See if there's a little bit more lift around the chest and collarbones, so you can lift that part too. Exhale, tuck tailbone even more. Inhale, lower down. Take the feet so they are wider than your yoga mat and far enough forward that your legs look like they're bent roughly about 90 degrees. Hands are clasped behind the head. Deep breath in. Exhale, send the knees to the left. So you're almost aiming for the right knee to move towards the left arch of the foot. Inhale, bring the knees up through center. Exhale, send the legs to the right. Inhale, legs up through center. Exhale, send the legs left. Actively push down through both the outside of the left leg, the inside of the right leg. Inhale, knees up through center. Exhale, send legs to the right. Push down through the inside of the left, the outside of the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, send the legs left. And this time, turning your head so the nose is tracking completely to the right. You're not tucking the chin. Turn the head to the right. Amp up your breathing here and allow the right side of your pelvis to lift off of the ground. So beginning to warm up into your lower back, your hips but also creating both this internal and external rotation moment in your legs. Inhale, bring the head and legs back to center. Exhale, send the legs to the right. Left ear is sliding around to the left but without tucking the chin. Inhale in a way that touches down into the low belly. Exhale, pull belly muscles in. I quite like to add in a little bit of movement here. So some of that cat arcing, so tucking the tailbone and then tilting the pelvis the other way. So shifting between these two sort of anterior, posterior movements, just almost scrubs into your hips a wee bit. Inhale, bring the legs back to center. Bring the knees up, curl the head and shoulders up from the mat with the hands still behind the head. Legs are straightening up towards the ceiling. And then send the legs forward, so if 12 o'clock is straight up, they're about two o'clock, maybe. Now from this place, press down through pelvis, press down through back ribs, lift shoulder blades. Now I'm a big fan of static holds first thing in the morning. Sometimes I find if I'm doing all these tuck tailbone based moves, I may not necessarily get a huge amount of movement. This allows me to feel for that strong sensation in the abdominal muscles. Pull down through belly muscles, reach out through the legs. Stronger day, reach the arms to the back of the room, lift shoulders up, stronger day still, bring the legs down so it's like half past two, nearing three o'clock. If your feet have touched the floor, too far for now. Keep going for another five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in. Set the feet down, roll to your left hand side, and then use your arms to come up from the ground. Left hand on the side of your head, lift your head up so you're taking care of your head, your neck, 
when you're coming up from floor base poses. Heading next into dolphin. During your time in dolphin, focus on staying really supported in your shoulders rather than collapsing and just sort of sticking with it. So if you need to come out of this, come out, take a few breaths, or repeat the shoulder shrugs from earlier, and then come right back into this. Come down onto the elbows, grab the upper arms to measure the distance apart the elbows go, and then clasp the hands. Inhale, lift up the section of spine between the shoulder blades. Exhale, flex chest muscles, neck relaxed, tuck toes, lift the knees out. Have the legs a little bit bent initially as you begin to work into your lower back. Inhale, lift sacrum up away from the shoulders. Exhale, bear down through your forearms, your elbows, even your hands. Inhale, lift up the space between shoulder blades. Exhale, pull belly muscles in. Inhale, lift the left leg up bent, so it's bent roughly 90 degrees, and focus more on lifting through the outside edge of your thigh to switch the buttock muscles on, leveling out through the hips rather than rocking that left hip open the top of the right. So you're going for sort of upper outer buttock muscles switching on rather than just tipping into your lower back flexibility. Inhale, release that left leg down. Reaffirm the base through your shoulders. Inhale, lift the right leg up. So instead of rolling the hips open, stack the hips so the right hip is level with the left. Inhale, lift through the outside edge of that right thigh. So focusing on lifting up through the outer ankle, the outside of your knee. Inhale, release that leg down, set the knees down. Come onto all fours. From all fours, take the hands forwards about six inches. Hands are mat width apart or slightly wider, and then bend the elbows. Inhale, lift the space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze the bent elbows towards each other. Tuck toes, lift the knees up. So moving into turbo dog domain. Inhale, shift the shoulders in front of your wrists. Elbows are bent, lift between the shoulder blades. Exhale, shift back. Inhale forwards, lifting the space between your shoulder blades. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, glide forwards. Exhale, shift back. From this place, look in front of your hands. Start to walk the feet towards the hands. Feet hip distance apart. Get onto your fingertips and bend your legs quite a bit. Inhale, lift the rib cage off of the thighs and articulate the chest forwards. Try to stick your butt out a little bit. Exhale, fold down over the legs. So your legs being bent here does not matter. Your aim is to bend the legs. So if you're not bending your legs because you want to get deeper into your hamstrings, bend them. Okay, get the pressure off a little bit. Inhale, come back up onto that fingertip half lift, scooping the chest forwards. Forward bend. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. One more like that. Exhale, fold. Bend the legs a little bit more, feeling for the thighs getting parallel to the ground. Take your arms straight out to the side and squeeze your shoulder blades back. Inhale, hover the rib cage from the thighs. So if sit bones point to the back of the room, skull is lengthening forwards. Lift up through the back of the skull and squeeze your shoulder blades back. So learning to use your neck muscles, your upper back muscles to help create support here. Deep breath in, continue the movement, scoop the chest forwards and all the way up and bring the arms up. Exhale, bring hands together, chest. Inhale, bring the arms up, lift ribs up. Forward bend. Exhale, fold down over bent legs. Then at halfway lift, take the arms out to the side, scoop the chest forward. So you're in this like bent legged tabletop y kind of shape. Forward bend. Exhale. Easy twisting lunge. Step the left leg back, left hand is under the left shoulder. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, take the arm towards the back of the room and down, so the hand is alongside your right heel. Inhale, reach the arm forward, so creating a circle with the arm. Exhale, the arm comes down, let everything move with it. Inhale, sweep the arm up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale, sweep the arm up. Exhale, bring it down, so head, neck, shoulders, everything is moving. 
Now on this next exhale, bring the hand down. Press into your hands, lift super high on that left toe tip. Step the foot back. Feel free to set the knees down if necessary. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower. Where the hands currently are, come up onto the fingertips. Inhale, move your shoulder blades up towards your ears. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back, coming up into a bit of a baby cobra. Find a height where you could easily take your fingers up off of the floor without collapsing down. This is going to be a good place for you to engage. Down dog. Hands go flat. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees up. Easy twisting lunge. Inhale. Step the left foot through between the hands. Whatever you need to do to get that there. Left arm is reaching up. Lift out of that right shoulder, similar to what we did in those sort of reverse tabletop lifts earlier. Exhale. Arm is going to the back of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arm forwards, making this big circle. Exhale, the arm comes down. Inhale, sweep the arm forwards and up, letting the shoulders and the head move. Exhale, arm is down. Inhale, up. Exhale, arm is down. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, bring that down. One more. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, bring the hand down. Now, from this place, hands are a wee bit in front of your left foot. Take the weight onto that left foot. Step. Exhale to bring that right foot alongside your left. Halfway lift, inhale, take the arms out to the side, chest scoops forwards, forward bend. Exhale, inhale, lift all the way up through that flat back, chest lifts up. Exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, bring the arms up. Forward bend, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, point sit bones back, forward bend, exhale. Lunge, set the right leg back this time, set the right knee down. Inhale, bring the hands up onto the left thigh. Exhale, push down into your right knee, squeeze the right knee towards the front of the room, tailbone tucks down. So not necessarily about going low here, but about switching on your leg muscles, getting your right side hip flexors switching on. Inhale, lift the ribs. Exhale, bring the hands down. Tuck the right toes, lift high on the right toes, lift sacrum, step that foot back, exhale, bend the elbows, elbows above the wrist as you lower. Inhale, pull with the arms, lift the leg, lift the arms, so very close to where they were. Inhale, scoop chest, exhale, reach thighs to the back of the room. Downward dog, exhale, hands under shoulders, tuck toes, lift knees, lunge. Inhale, look in between your hands, lift high on the tiptoes, bring that right knee forwards and down in between the hands, left knee goes down. Pad the knee if necessary, lower the hips, inhale, climb up onto that right leg. Exhale, push down into your right knee and then feel for squeezing, your left knee rather, squeezing your left knee towards the front of the room. Inhale, lift the rib cage up. Exhale, tuck tailbone down and work inner thighs towards one another. Belly muscles pull in. Forward bend, exhale, hands go down. Take the hands in front a little bit. Step onto that right foot. Exhale, bring that left leg alongside the right, fold down. Half lift, inhale, take the arms out to the side, chest scoops forwards, forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands together, chest. From this place, shift the weight onto your right leg. Squeeze the right leg muscles to the left. Exhale, lift the left knee up. So do this without scooping under or bending that right leg. So you're finding where that leg can go to. Take the right hand to the left shin. Inhale, reach the left arm back. Now your head is following your torso, but not necessarily twisting through the head and neck. So keeping chin in line with chest. Inhale, lift up through the ribs. Exhale, draw shoulder blades down. You want to work a little bit harder here. Take the right hand off of the left shin and reach actively out with those arms. Inhale, come back to center. Release that left leg down. Shift the weight onto that left leg and then feel for squeezing the left leg muscles to the right. So your low buttock muscles should feel active. Hips should feel active. Exhale, lift the right knee up. So again, doing this without scooping under through pelvis. So staying very tall, if anything, moving the pelvis slightly back. Exhale, left hand goes onto the right shin. Right arm is reaching back. Inhale, lift ribs. 
And exhale, turn the chest, actively reaching with that right arm, maybe reaching both arms out to the side. Make your breathing steady. So balancing on one leg, sometimes the breathing gets a little bit crappy. Inhale, come back to center. Release that right leg down. Bring yourself down to a seated position. If you wish to, take a five minute Shavasana. Otherwise, use these as some movements to get you out for the day, so you get yourself moving. Enjoy it.